Okay, so let's um, open up the meeting at 6.05. Um, and first of all, I want to uh, let everyone know that um, uh, Chris Codius, uh, our other select board member, select board chair, has tested positive for COVID, so he's unable to be mm -hmm. here tonight. And then I just did want to announce um, for folks that may be watching this uh, at home um, at some point in the near future that the Peter Peltz, who was on the select board uh, just recently and, and who has served in a number of different town positions, um, passed away a week ago this past Sunday night. Um, so uh, we could have a moment of silence for that if, if people are okay with that. You okay with that, Diana? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So, so we'll just have a short, um, short moment of silence. Diana, do you have anything that you would like to add? Uh, I did want to just respect? want to say that it was an honor to work with him for six months. Um, he was elected back in March, and by by August he wasn't feeling very well. And uh, but it was it was uh, very interesting working with him as the chair because he's very well respected, mm -hmm. and uh, people treated him as such. Um, I was looking at some paperwork on a different item today and saw that back in 1991 he was a school board chair. Mm -hmm. And I know he also spent years as the, on the uh, Hazen board, as well as being our representative in the legislature. And so mm -hmm. he finally got to be on the select board. I hope he liked Okay. Are there any adjustments at all to the agenda? Okay. Um, we may have to make some adjustments if we don't, if Chuck or Alfie are not here, um, but we'll deal with that when we get there. Oh, is there any public comment at all? Anyone? Our member of the public? No. Okay. Okay. Um, so, do I hear a motion to approve the bills and the payroll orders? I'll make that motion. Okay, and I'll second it. Um, and I guess by seconding it, all in favor. All, aye. Yeah, the two of us are <laughs> in favor. So, yeah, I. Yeah. And then, um, do I hear a motion to approve the minutes to the October tenth, twenty twenty-two select so board moved. meeting? Okay, I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. aye. Okay. So, um, town clerk's report. The last couple of weeks, my main priority has been the ballots. Mm. Getting them out and getting them back in. Secretary of State's office sent out like 900, uh, 900 698 ballots. Mm. And of that, we've got about 170 of them back now. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. 170 you said so far? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. And you're all set for the election day? No, we're going to do the tabulator testing tomorrow. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. we should be good to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. And that's about all I've got. Yeah, okay. All right. Any, any questions for, other questions for Robin? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Town Treasurer's report. Yeah. So this is going to be over the last four weeks just to make up my absent. Um, so payroll, uh, $17,663.83. AP, $79,677.69. Cash receipts, we took in 973000 $91.39 from the state for transfers that included an 
85,000 of ARPA. We had a couple for property taxes and then our class two and three roads of $18,512.62. Mm -hmm. um, delinquencies, we took in $8,635.82. I transferred 845000 from the checking over to the money market over the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. um, money is still rolling in, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, Basically through the taxes, people... Yes. Yep. yep. Um, and uh, oddly enough, the, the credit card machine has, has... This has been the most year mm -hmm. that it's been used. Oh, uh -huh. really? Mm -hmm. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Would you say that taxes are coming in well? Are you yes. Same as usual? Or? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the uh, ARPA money that the town received, is that the last installment? It is. Or, yeah. mm -hmm. okay. It was $85,756.21. Mm -hmm. So, yep. You're all done receiving money on the ARPA. Okay. Yeah. We also received, I had applied for the VLCT grant, which was a scale of... Um, Larry Smith came and did evaluation of what was high risk, medium, or low risk mm -hmm. um, for accidents happening in the office. Oh, like a, a safety More kind of safety yeah. kind of okay. So there was a $6,000 grant. Um, I spent close to that. I spent mm -hmm. around fifty-four, and we just got the reimbursement check on that. Mm. Uh -huh. So, so you, that was to pay for the different recommendations that he... Yeah. So we, part of that, new chairs, um, standing up desks, mm -hmm. um, mats under the chairs. Mm -hmm. um, we did a security camera for the town office in the town um, garage. Mm -hmm. oh, really? Installation of those, I had gotten a quote um, off um, Woodbury Electric. Mm -hmm. The only quote, and of course that put me over... Mm -hmm. The grant. So this is a yearly grant, and I'm hoping to go back after and get the cameras installed in January. Okay. Using this grant, um, so they would be hardwired in. Mm -hmm. and, um, so yeah. I thought the town uh, town garage already had a security system. They do have system. Some cameras there. They do have cameras there. Yeah. Yes. I thought we had a whole system there that we were paying for. Well, that's for mm -hmm. fire. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's for fire. <laughs> Mm. Um, yeah, so so these would these be cameras above and beyond what they already have installed? Or maybe they're yes. just up there to look like cameras to... Some people do that. No. Uh -huh. um, yes, they're up and beyond. Okay. Yeah. okay. So um, the, the town office one, you don't expect to do it until after the first of the year? It's not in our budget. And... Um, the grant will cover the installation, mm -hmm. so I don't. Want the to grant write it off. next year's grant, you mean? Correct, oh. in January. Otherwise, I could. I mean, it's. How much is it? The, for, the one and only estimate was around twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred for the installation, um, or the camera in the installation. The cameras are paid for by that grant, the last grant. This is installation, possibly. <clears throat> um, it having to go through the vault um, because uh, Skip Marcassani suggested that he wants it hardwired so its backup is in the vault. In the vault. In the vault. Interesting. So um, I didn't. But get there's a no breakdown. computer in the vault. <laughs> I didn't get a breakdown. Yeah. Of, um, uh, but mm -hmm. so yeah, it was an estimate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and it, for that, I would rather. Try and get it through a grant, then then mm -hmm. uh, overspending on an item line. Yeah. Well, we did get a complaint, and I think I passed it on to you, Robin, and to Skip Marcasani, that uh, there had been a lot of drug traffic in the parking lot lately, and he thought. <coughs> um, that maybe it was because of the Wi-Fi, the, the hotspot. Mm -hmm. But then somebody else recently told me that as long as you got Wi-Fi, Comcast Wi-Fi, they can use that anyways. 
without the hot spot. So I don't know. Skip was going to talk to the whatever outfit it was that provided the hot spot and see if there's a way to, you know, make it available like 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. or something like oh. that and put a timer on it. I don't know. We also had a resident come in today asking if we can have brighter lighting in that parking lot at nighttime. Really? To help be a yeah. courage yeah. uh -huh. of trafficking. Huh. Hmm. We could. I mean, mm -hmm. it would be probably the installation of a boy probably harder electric might do that for well, us. I'm have to put in a street light. street light. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah with harder electric. It could be. A, that would just be. It would be an additional fee. Oh yeah. Kind of. There's a security light uh, tariff. I think we might have one at the garage. An extra security light on a pole. Hmm. I don't know. This is one at the school. Yeah. I can, I'll call and find out. See if that's possible. Or should we make it so the outside light at night time is on all of the time instead of just... So it'd be a motion light? Motion Can't yeah, hurt. there is a... Isn't that just, isn't there a way of just doing a switch and... Leaving it on? No, I think there has to be up at the... Yeah, at the light the itself? The light itself. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. that's a good idea though. Yeah. If it could be like, you know, just come on at dark. Right. And right. stay on like a light sensitive monitor. Because oh. there's a double spotlight, right? That should be in the... At the t at down at the town office? Yeah. Or no, I think there's only one off the porch. Oh, I thought it was a double one. Maybe not. We ended up putting up the cones because they were trying to back around the side of the town clerk. Uh-huh. Hmm. So, and that has nipped that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so with the person that was living across the road no longer there, it's, it's still continuing, but oh, now yeah. in the parking lot instead? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's too bad. Mm -hmm. But even with the regular Wi-Fi, it might be possible to put it on a timer so that it's not available at night. I don't know. I don't know. Or just shut the Wi-Fi down. If that's Unplug the boxes, the two boxes, the routers. Yeah, do you, you don't need it inside, do you? What, what do you mean? Well, when they're working. Yeah, on uh -huh. one night. This week, off subject here, I will be opened Thursday, uh, Wednesday and Thursday mm -hmm. from 5 to 8 both nights. Mm -hmm. Oh, for taxes. Property okay. taxes are due Thursday. So yay, I'll see everybody mm -hmm. <laughs> on Thursday. Uh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so you, you think the attraction now is just the, the fact that there's Wi-Fi? I mean, I, I don't... It's very convenient for them to come, text, and meet up. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Everywhere else, they have no service. Mm -hmm. right. They have to go too far from what they want to go. Right, mm -hmm. right. I mean, they could be parking at the school here or in front of the town mm -hmm. hall, too, I guess. There's Wi-Fi there. Town hall has been shut down. It's been shut down? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, plus there's more, I mean, even at the town hall, there's residences and other buildings right. nearby. Yeah. yeah, it is kind of quiet in front of the town office. office mm -hmm. right? yeah. okay. But our constable did recommend that if we had a camera, that might help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Okay, anything else, Brandy, at all? Mm. Uh, no. Okay. Any any questions for Brandy? Mm -mm. Okay. All right. So um, the next item on the agenda is the road report. Um, Chuck isn't here. Um, I can give a little bit of an update on the winter road salt um, if you'd like. I was hoping to confer with Chuck. We have a scheme that we've been talking about, but I haven't checked in with him about it, and I was hoping that he would have some information about that tonight. Um, um, so I guess basically I'll just say about the, the um, winter road, road salt price, it looks like we probably will be paying more this year than we usually have. Um, Chuck asked me to look into this. Um, I think when when you I think when you got COVID, just because you were working on it, I know that. But um, Dubois and King was bought out by another Vermont company, mm -hmm. and they were the person that we 
worked the contract with, with American Road Salt for um, many years. Um, and American Road Salt still uh, is selling salt, um, but they don't have a Vermont distributor um, at this point in time with the loss of Dubois and King. The company that bought them out um, is, I think it's called Barrett, something or other. Um, I did talk with them, and, and they contract with um, Cargill Salt. So, and right now the price from Barrett, which does kind of look like our only option, um, is $88 a ton. Last year we paid $76 a ton um, through American Road Salt. I believe it was $76. Mm -hmm. um, and their going price right at the moment, I have talked with them, is about uh, $78 a ton. Um, so Chuck and I were talking about a way of maybe getting, um, and I don't want to go into the details because I don't know if any of it's actually going to happen or not, um, of having a way of getting, um, uh, having a contract with American Road Salt to get a cheaper price. The catch is, is that we would have to truck the salt from a depot in uh, New Hampshire, um, so it, and, you know, it may be that with Barrett it would, it would be cheaper that way. Um, but Chuck was going to look into that. And I is haven't it, heard heard back from him yet about that. You think that. it was Dubois Construction as opposed to Dubois and King? Well, which is an in yeah. Um, however, whatever it was um, is no longer, <laughs> and uh, and they are not. Um, mm. um, yeah. <laughs> so, it, but it does kind of look like we may be paying more for road salt this year. Um, so, and that's pretty much. Um, Mm. All. Um, I don't want to get into different projects or equipment updates. Um, I know a little bit about that, but I'm not enough to speak very accurately about mm. it. So, um, so I guess that's our road report. Um, so the front porch forum donation. Um, I know that I've been seeing uh, that on the front porch forum that I received that they are kind of going through a yearly donation um, request. And I know that the town started giving um, front porch forum a uh, donation every year because we really use them quite a bit for uh, communicating amongst ourselves here in town. Um, I think it was, was it $500 a year, Randy? Mm -hmm. Is, it, think is it in our time? Or? For some reason, I want to say it was three. Three, okay. But I don't I don't think, think it, it was an annual. I think it was just that one. That one time? Because mm. I put it under a thing that was uh, miscellaneous because we hadn't mm. established mm. an okay. account for from Porch Forum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For well, it to we, be an annual. We, uh, under general, we did budget $500 under miscellaneous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if any of that's been used. Uh, it looks like 209. 200, yeah, has been. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we could, we, if it, um, we could give mm -hmm. them the remainder of that miscellaneous. We we'll just give them five hundred dollars. It's worth it. I would make a motion that we give them five hundred dollars. All right, um, and then maybe. Should we maybe consider having that be a, a, a line item on the budget going forward? We should have, maybe under, I don't know, do we have an advertising or a, I don't think we have a separate budget for legal notices and such. Yeah. You know, we just have it under the Board of Adjustment and the, whoever else does notices. All right. Um, I mean, I would be fine with five hundred dollars um, for front porch forum. Um, it would make us a little over budget, but um, so. Um, mm -hmm. Would you like to make a motion to that effect, Diana? I did. Oh, you did. Okay. I well, did. then I'll second it. <laughs> All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. You just remember so, to put it in the budget next year. Yeah. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. Um, so uh, next on the agenda, other business updates. Um, West Woodbury Cemetery. You've got perfect timing. Yeah. Really. Yeah. <coughs> I've been uh, back and forth with the, uh, the surveyor that we used, and um, she got she finished the uh, outline. Um, put also put on the uh, well shield, and then Patty researched the size of the plots and came up with what was it four by eleven or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I gave that information to um, to Lisa, and now she wonders whether there need to be any other additional roads or. I don't think it's, it's it still pretty so darn small. small. Yeah. When you look at what, you know, South Woodbury. Yeah, they don't have roots. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So, um, and she can't do any of the markers this year because it's too late, but uh, when she finishes the plot plan, we'll pay for that and do the markers next year, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, um, uh, I called um, Chris Green last week, but I haven't heard back. Patty wanted me to make that contact for writing up the deed, mm -hmm. and I said I would do that. Mm -hmm. so. And just to bring me up to speed, is that pretty much the last um, piece of the puzzle to make that cemetery usable for folks in the future? I believe so, as far as the town's concerned. Yeah. Okay. There's uh, no money that's going to change hands. The deed that he writes up will be either a boundary line adjustment or there's just some other possible mm -hmm. nomenclature, but it shouldn't involve any state requirements. Okay, uh, and, and, and he's willing to pay the lawyer for those that work? No, the town agreed the to town pay that last town year. To pay that. Okay. But the uh, there's no money in the budget, but the cemetery has plenty of money. Okay, so we're gonna steal so. from the cemetery budget. Yeah, okay. and uh, as a <laughs> part, the deal was that Bear wanted four plots. I'm not sure if he knew what size the plots are going to be, because all the rest of our cemeteries are like four-person plots, and these sound like one person plots. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and anything within the well shield can only be a crematory plot, but they might as well be the, the same size. Yeah, because you can put two. Yeah, two mm -hmm. or more. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's moving along. You got anything else? No, mm -hmm. I just came to hear. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, hmm. Okay. I think Bear. I think in that long email that Tim Hall sent, I think he said that they still haven't put up the fence, but they're waiting, I guess, for the title to transfer yeah. before they they finish up whatever part they've agreed mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. I haven't been up there, but I imagine it's all smoothed out and. Oh, yeah. Seated and, yeah? Probably, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. How's the rest of the cemetery commission doing? Good. Other Wait projects? For Susan to get back and then we'll have a meeting and yeah. start coming up with some rules and regulations. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh, boy. I'm trying to think if there are any. Yeah, well, yeah. Mm. We got a few brochures from other towns, so we oh, can pick yeah. what we like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What seems fitting. So I also think about what to charge. I mean, right now I think it's I think it's two hundred dollars oh, for no, one no, of those. No. Oh, they started their new. Yeah, yeah I, I don't have my book with me, but yeah, they already the did a raise it. New prices are in To what? A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> It went from not way not enough to a lot. What the other towns are charging? Really? Yeah. Oh. 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 Used to be a good deal. Hopefully, people got their lots. Yeah. <laughs> so why did they decide to do that? 
just keeping up with other towns and now that we have Joe doing like a lot of the work, mm -hmm. it's, you know, town to help pay for that. Yeah. 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 yeah, not a lot of lots get sold every year. Okay. Okay. Anything else on the West Woodbury Cemetery? So, but the other cemeteries, what did he do this okay. year? He, um, he did a whole bunch of filling. We just had him do what we were concerned were like a hazard for somebody mm -hmm. falling or tripping. Mm -hmm. So um, he did a whole bunch of sinkholes out at Harvey's and in uh, Santa Woodbury. Mm -hmm. And then he, um, a bunch of broken stones he repaired. Mm. If you want, I could send you. Oh, it's all right. I just been. I saw. I think I saw that the fence up at Harvey's looks like it had been painted and oh, yeah. fixed up. Yeah, that and it was looks a big really one. nice. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It makes yeah. a difference. Yeah. Anything else about town cemeteries? All right. So old Quarry Road issues. Oh yeah, I was hoping Chuck would be here for that. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, Alfie to see if they had thought of any cure for that shed, okay. shed, okay. All right. shed, shed. But so um, I haven't. I've I had a bunch of emails back and forth between the two ladies on mm -hmm. either side of the road, and uh, and uh, just. It's going to be a hard one to solve. Okay. I think it would be wonderful if Elizabeth Shed would move her shed up on up to the top of her property, but I don't know physically how that would be done. Mm -hmm. It was moved there intact, so it's not like it was built there. Right. It's kind of like a big fishing shanty, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, just somebody... Mm -hmm. Do you think a t town vehicle could just kind of skid it along the ground? Mm, yeah. Oh, there's Chuck. Somebody. Oh, oh there's Chuck Ann. There we go. Well, grab a chair. You can sit at with me. At least him. we're both late. <laughs> well, no, you're not really late. Cause you're, technically, the the road report it was scheduled at 6:30, which is oh, we're just yeah, kind of so ahead so of we're time. We're ahead of yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're doing good. Okay. Hmm. Um, so we were just um, talking about the old Quarry Road, and the and I was wondering if he, I know from his past life that Alfie had some something to do with that shed, and I wondered if you had any ideas about how to make that situation better. I mean, she has said she doesn't want to move it, so you know, but but that's not the end of it. Right. Uh, have, have, has anybody measured it to no. verify if it is in the right way or not? Um, Chuck said it was, but I never... It's right on the edge. What, what Her the vehicle is definitely... If she parks there, yeah. there's not really a good, good place the, to park. The building is marginal. It, mm -hmm. But still. Mm -hmm. We, uh, in the zoning laws, it's nowhere near right. But. Yeah, well, this, yeah, we haven't gotten to that point yet. <laughs> well, I think you need to. Well, you think we're going to get there? You think you're just going to... No. Anyways, yeah. first thing we wanted to do was to get it out of the right of way, and then if she could... If there's any chance that she would move it up to the top of the property there on that other road. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so back to my past life. Yep. <laughs> Which is still actually still it's my future life, yeah. not future life, existing life. Let's yeah. say uh, I tried and tried to get her to move it further uh, up. Yeah. Uh, for that reason, mm -hmm. one it blocks the main a access to that field. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. just doesn't yeah. make any sense. Mm -hmm. uh, but she was very adamant to having it put there. Um, her father, I've talked to her father, and he is wanting to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. So that might be a little bit of leverage mm -hmm. for us to get get 
you know, get it moved back. Um, so possibly if, if we started zoning and sent a notice of alleged violation, that might get him to that's right. realize that they're not, there's no way they're going to get a 65-foot setback at that location without carving it's, out I half of the he's hill. got more teeth with the zoning. Yeah, so that might, yeah. Yeah. The right well, of way, yeah. Yacht type mm -hmm. thing. And so that might be the, mm -hmm. the, the next mm -hmm. uh, viable step for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she said she would get a zoning permit and ask for a variance, but not going to get one. So that's not a process. I don't. I don't think she really means that. So, well, I guess she ought to have that option. But oh, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. no way she's going to get it. Right. That's what I mean. <laughs> oh, no, certainly not. Sixty-five feet. No. So, no. No. So right there. Is Mm -hmm. So it yeah. sounds like the zoning administrator is the next person to deal yeah. with that. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Was that pretty much what you wanted to discuss under the old court? Yeah, I don't have come the other How one? come he hasn't dealt with it already? Oh, oh, he had. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah. I know he's ready out straight like a chain to win. No, yeah. no, no. I didn't mean that. Uh, I don't want to talk about that now. Yeah, I bet you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, we talked about having him come in tonight, but I never. So we did, did go do. Know. We've kind of mostly skipped over the road report. So if there's if there's anything that you would like to share in the road report, um, uh, the roads are in good shape. Um, the boys finished pretty much putting up the sand pile today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think. Would you say you got 32 yards it's, left or something? Yeah, yeah, they were gonna they were gonna compare the numbers. Mm -hmm. And it seems that we're little pile Westwood Bay ourselves. We'll be using. I them. think yeah. that sand will probably stay at gravels in case something happens uh -huh. and we need to pick up a load there. Oh, that would right. be nice. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's sort of right on the way. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's then true, we yeah. won't have to load that low pro Truck it there anywhere and near sand. It back. Yep. Good. Um, they put the winter tires on, the studded winter tires that we mm -hmm. bought for it. On the low pro. Um, yeah. Let me see. They have trouble with the plow on it and they sent it down and the angle cylinders were bad hmm. and they put two new angle cylinders on it so we're in good shape there mm -hmm. the 550 is down to the welders mm -hmm. having the plow rebuilt mm -hmm. after we got looking at over things are in pretty <laughs> rough shape so that's down there being rebuilt mm -hmm. and I didn't talk to Greg this afternoon. He probably didn't yeah, hear anything. Didn't hear nothing. Correct. Mm -hmm. mm. okay. So where did that go? Jeremy Walsh, the welder down in East Montpelier. Mm -hmm. He's done some welding for us before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does a good job. Mm -hmm. uh, the other uh, now. Well, fronts are all on. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. They're going to dig the plows out, but the fronts are on the trucks. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the sanders are all looped up. Mm -hmm. Working. Mm -hmm. yeah. Chains are all mm -hmm. fixed up, so we're in pretty good shape there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Matter of putting chains on, putting plows on. And yep. Just need a little snow now. Yeah. Right. No. No, we don't need that. <laughs> not, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> uh, no, I, the... I think we're in pretty good shape on the road. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So how's he doing on his learning curve? Good. Yeah. Uh, ain't much of a learning curve. No. <laughs> I don't know. I was just looking at those bills, and it's amazing how you guys know where to buy all these different services and things. And yeah. yeah. It ain't your first rodeo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I have a lot of experience at through, yeah. through the callus plus yeah. my own Mm -hmm. business. Yeah. A lot of vendors that I buy stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 
what are we going to do after November 1st? Which is like next week. Are you going to still be helping us out? Or are you going to... I'm going to be around until about the 15th. Of November? Yeah. Oh. So. But I've, yeah. I've been trying to keep my nose right out of it. And let okay. Greg and Elfie work things out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seems to be working good. So. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. I haven't had to... Be a referee, yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> uh, so this might be your retirement party, huh? Hey, well, oh, I, probably. Forgot the, I forgot the beer. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Other than that, uh, salt's a big issue now. Yeah, I, I did share a little bit about that, but um, um, we could talk about it some more um, tonight if you'd like. I could share with you what I know at the moment. Um, uh, and I don't know if you've had a chance to talk to Dana Gravel and the other scenario. I did, and that's not no. going to work. Okay, no. so so it looks like then um, if that's not going to work, then we have no way of getting uh, the American rock salt, you know, getting material from them. Um, so the only option really that we have is with Barrett and and their Cargill salt, which is uh, they have it set at a price of eighty eight dollars a ton. Um, delivered? Delivered, yeah. Well, that's not too bad. Uh huh. It's more than we have paid, but that's the norm these days, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For everything. Um, and the, the salesperson that I've spoken with has kept on, has been commenting that they'll be sending in a contract. Um, seems like it should have come by now, so I will bother him again tomorrow and find out when that's going to come. Um, the state. It really isn't doing any kind of program with the towns mm -hmm. this year. Um, they were, I guess they were sort of discussing it and then the last uh, communication I had from the person from the state that I was talking to um, just gave me a list of all the different rock road salt dis you know, distributors um, mm -hmm. which I already had been talking to anyway. So, so we're not going to, there's going to be no kind of state contract that we can tag along with. Um, so uh, the Barrett seems to be the only, our only option really. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So. Um, Is that um, Barrett Trucking? Uh, it's not trucking. I don't know. It's, they're basically the people that bought out Dubois and right. King. So um, at least the part of the business the former business of Du Bois and King, um, but um, and the part that dealt with the road salt. Well, I'm thinking that if that we need to call them and and uh, hopefully they'll honor the price and get a lot of salt up here. Cause yeah, no, I know. We need salt. I, 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 tighten up pretty soon. I don't know why everything is so late. Usually this is all mm -hmm. figured out. Well, I think it's because. Go ahead. I think part of it was that Dubois got sold, mm -hmm. and so the new company is not signing a contract, or for some reason the contract's not being signed with American Rock Salt. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but I do hear through the grapevine that there's another location where American Rock Salt is going to be delivering. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. And it's right in a small player. Oh, mm -hmm. really? So. Well, let me. I can contact the. Yeah. The person, because when, when I spoke with them last, they said they didn't have a Vermont distributor. So okay, well, it's possible that it's that it's cargo. I'm not sure the company that's delivering to this okay. to this location, but it's it's much closer. Okay. In mm -hmm. fact, you know, if, if we could haul it, even might even save us a, a few cents on a ton. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's right in the small player. And All right. The name, the name is uh, M Brown Trucking. And brown trucking. Okay. They, I know they just put up a huge tent to, I saw to store the oh, to store wow. the salt. So yes. mm. Okay. Because I tried to call the American Rock Salt person. I mean, I did call the American Rock Salt person today, but they were in a meeting and they're supposed to get back to me tomorrow. Mm. So I'll ask them about that. It would be from the price that she gave me, the American Rock Salt person. It would be ten dollars a ton, or at least the price that she mentioned that they were charging, this is for a site down in New Hampshire, so there's probably some added expense for getting it up here. Um, that was $78 a ton that she, yeah. so it might be cheaper. Okay, well, yeah. I'll, 
But well, at any rate, it might be might get us out of a bind. It might right. buy us some time to get a contract signed. Well, this the we the fellow from um, Barrett said that the contracts are going to be right. You know, he would be sending them out for people to. Okay. Um, and so I'm, you know, kind of surprised that that we haven't received it yet. Um, but do you want to pursue this, or would you? Prefer that I do I'm at the happy moment. To. I mean, I, that's uh -huh. what I when I was at Callus, I was full responsible. You, that's what I mm -hmm. yeah. The salt and all that. So mm -hmm. if you want me to, I, I'd be happy to. Okay. I mean, I'm happy to do it too. I mean, I've been. Yeah. I mean, but, you're, you're but I don't want to. So if you want to, at least to see that to see the contract through. Right. You know, if if we're going to get a contract, but if it's not the same company and maybe. Any small player, it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. Maybe we don't need a contract. Right. Well, that's mm -hmm. that's it. I, I would, um, you know, what I'm thinking is that we should get a. The person that I speak with at American uh, uh, Rock Salt is Jamie McLean, um, and uh, so she would be the. She's the person I tried to contact today. I could send you her contact information if you'd like, okay. um, and if there's is a possibility to tag on to um, you know the salt that's coming up to East Montpelier um, and it was cheaper I definitely mm -hmm. that would be the way to go as far as I'm concerned maybe that's why you haven't gotten your contract from the place you're talking to they're waiting to see what's going to happen in East Montpelier I don't think so. They It'd be a competitor. It, right? It's a yeah it would be a yeah. competitor. They're a much bigger company and they have depots a number of them here in Vermont so and they took over the Dubois and King depot for salt, which was somewhere down in Montpelier area. Yeah, I think. Uh, Berlin. Berlin. Dubois okay. construction. Dubois construction. Yeah. 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 Um, Three mile bridge. Pretty, sure, pretty mm -hmm. sure they Mom were Bear. American rock salt. Yeah. Quite certain. Mm -hmm. And they're right on the rail line too, so they probably just bring right. it in. Right. Yeah, that's Wait. it. It all comes they in used by to train. Bring it in by rail. I don't know if it's Maybe still around. They get the mm -hmm. auger for the end. Yeah. Building. Yeah. Mm. Town loads. Uh, real cars, but. Mm. Mm. So, Alfie, what would be the best way to get this information to you? Do you want me to just send you an email or? Uh, yeah, you can send it to my personal email. Right. I think that's the one that I have for yeah. now. Yeah. Until. Until. until right. I'm appointed, I suppose, and then I'll <laughs> take over the computer there. Okay. All right. No, well, you can still, you know. Use your personal email, do you think? That's Rather up to Alfie. Lying on, yeah. He may He's not want to get yeah, town yeah. garbage on his personal email. Yeah. <laughs> well, either, either way, but I mean, if, I mean once, I, once I take over the shop, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm going to be in control of that computer, I would assume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then any, any town business mm -hmm. would just go to that. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what that be. email address is. Yeah, it's it matter, Woodbury Garage or something. Which is fine. <laughs> like Woodbury, yeah. Oh. yeah. I would think you would appoint him tonight. But then we already appointed him. Yeah. The plan was that he would be two, two uh, days a week in October and start um, the first of November, more or less, whatever the day is, as full time. Well, that's yeah. a week from. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. So I would think you'd make it official and. Well, I think it already is. That's my understanding. The letter we sent him says, Woodbury Select Board has voted to offer you the position of road commissioner. Okay. In this position, you will be expected above, above, effective October 3. You will work at least 18 hours a week during October and so on to learn the town roads, equipment, and so on. At November 1, you will begin full-time schedule uh, of 36 to 40 hours per week. So, okay. Yeah, okay. So I guess it's, it's been <laughs> and November 1st. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what, what day is November 1st. Next Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, so if you want to start or, a day early. So the, 30, <laughs> the 31st is Monday, so it would be Wednesday, actually. Yeah. 31st is... Oh, the 1st. Oh, November 1st. <laughs> <laughs> November, yeah, it would be Tuesday. He's going to miss the day there. <laughs> Have uh, day, huh? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't show your head. Uh, okay, okay. okay, so any other road? Any questions for our two road well, this commissioners? Well, there's business set. Okay. Um, there is no storage room over to the 
down garbage whatsoever. We get stuff stacked all over it, covered mm -hmm. up with tents. Mm -hmm. um, Greg and I and Elfie have been talking about it, and it would mm -hmm. be nice if we had a storage container over there to put our tires and road signs mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all different kinds of stuff in Yeah, for storage. Is that camper still there? That camper's been torn down. It's going to be part of the town of Woodbury's hydro seeding deal. <laughs> what? what are you saying? <laughs> so they take I'm saying take it's still the there, but it ain't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hope those people aren't still paying every day for fine. They haven't paid one. Okay. Yeah. Mm. They didn't pay us to move it, so. Oh, no. Okay. Really? Yeah. Put it on a tax bill. Yeah, I thought they had come in and said they, they were going to... They came in to find out what they owe. Okay. They pay. No, they never yeah. did pay them. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, we're so. actually looking for a 40-foot storage container. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of those and, kind of metal... Right. Yep. Truck uh, body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's... Yeah, so, a mm -hmm. cargo container comes mm -hmm. off a ship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. And it's a round... It's going to be between four and five thousand dollars to get it and mm -hmm. get it delivered and set up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're looking for. I think that sounds reasonable, though. Yeah. You? Yeah. Okay. Hey, speaking of your own signs, did you get my message over to the town garage that the speed limit sign by Nelson Pond Access was taken down? There ain't a sign town that ain't been taken down. I don't believe. But it's still there. Oh, and really? somebody just mowed it over. <laughs> oh. They bent the pole and everything? Bent the pole. Oh, gee. Yeah. That must have hurt. Yeah. Well, we and were then, talking about it this morning. Now, he's got a list of. Yeah, there's a lot of them. And Blake Hill Road lines. needs. Yeah, yeah. And the Woodbury Town Line between East Callis and Woodbury needs to be put up on County Road. And Dog Pond mm. Road needs signs. And mm. Okay. We got a bunch of them. Yeah, we, got, we got a list. And a bunch of the signs are already ordered. So and it's coming. Should be coming right along. Yeah. But. Mm -hmm. And you know where this this uh, storage container is going to fit in? Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that 4900 that was wrecked is going to the junkyard. Oh. And along with some other stuff, and it's going to mm -hmm. set right in there. Mm-hmm. That's one thing that the, the safety guy from VLCT mentioned when he did his go around there is that you had a lot of money sitting there. The price of metal is up, at least it was at the time, mm -hmm. and you might be. Well, I think the road crew stuff. saves that for their winter um, soup money. I think well, that's what. <laughs> you may, there may be a little too much money on this one. I okay. Think. <laughs> Well, that, they usually have a good pile of old culverts and stuff right. that they, they cash still in. Uh, yeah. still <laughs> they may keep uh, that, but the truck <laughs> will be... Right, the truck would be a different... Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. but speaking of signs, um, I know that um, we talked about um, the, the planning commission, or at least a couple people on the planning commission had asked for some... Um, so like share the road signs and the select board had approved them. Um, I think it just got kind of fallen by the wayside with all the summer work. And well, it's probably no, too no, late. We to didn't have help enough so we could put them up. Exactly, on. right. But, mm -hmm. um, so maybe we'll look at doing that next next summer or right. spring? Ne yeah. It's next, too late uh, now, I would I think. think we'd put them up in yeah. the spring. Okay. Fairly early in the spring. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, anything else for? I'm really waiting to hear you say yes on the comments, Bob. Oh yeah, would you like us to oh, yeah. officially okay. um, to vote on it? Vote on it. Yes. Okay. okay, I'll make a motion that we let them buy their storage box. All right, I'll second that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, done deal. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, we should have asked Brandy if we had enough money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> By railing. Railing, yes. At the town hall. Yeah. And the one that's there is pretty wag is is loose. That's right. We might need a reason to go to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get to it. Okay. <laughs>
In the spring, right? <laughs> no, no. Before I'll November be 8th. Yeah, we'll have it done before November 8th. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Right. Yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. Anything else for our road commissioners? Okay. Um, so next on the agenda, um, under, under business and updates, the town office energy conservation work. Um, so I have a, a little bit more information about that. Um, I did call Efficiency Vermont and they have sent me a list of contractors um, that could do the work or that are under their wings to do the work. Um, so, um, and of course, it, it's probably impossible to get a contractor mm -hmm. to do it before winter comes, um, seeing how it's kind of on its way. But uh, we'll get that started to get that work. Brady, I had a question for you. Um, when the guy came to do the energy on it and he did the blower door and stuff, did he go in the attic? But Robin didn't know, so that's why I'm asking you. I, no, because I didn't go with him. No, but I mean, you I would have noticed know. if he was climbing up over the toilet in the bathroom and going through the hatch. I believe, no, he did not do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the only way to get up there, but he did have a recommendation for, re what did he say, oh. like removing the debris and taking up the floor and things like that. And, so, know, I'd have to well, look. if we get somebody new, we're going to have to start over anyway. So. Well, we don't have to start our work. Well, we can go uh, by the uh, audit report, but we it is possible that the person who did the audit um, doesn't have to be the contractor that does it. Um, and well, apparently the contractor is, is mad at the town um, and doesn't want anything to do with Woodbury anymore. So, um, so that's why you're looking at a new list of contractors. Yes. Yeah, so we'll just get that started and okay. see where it goes. Um, mm -hmm. And then the next thing on the um, agenda under other business is that uh, and Diana knows a little bit more about this than I do, but apparently at this point in time, um, there have now been two land surveys for the, um, the property where the old store was, the boundary line between where the old store was, it's now town property, and the, where the new fire station will be. Um, the town had a survey done uh, when we were doing the FEMA grant for the work, and uh, the fire department recently um, has done their own survey of the property, and, and um, because of that um, boundary line, and the two surveyors came up with different lines. Um, so it's, um, and I guess what we would like to do is to kind of resolve that issue so that um, um, with a new boundary line that the, from the survey that the, the fire department did, there's no access to the town property there. Um, you'd have, we'd either have to build a bridge over the brook. Which um, we probably couldn't do. Right. Um, because it would be a flood. So uh, I'm hoping that we can meet with the, the fire department and just resolve the issue um, over the, the two different surveys. And um, it seems silly to spend taxpayer money on either side um, to try to, to, to hire to a bunch of lawyers mm -hmm. to dis you know figure out the dispute between the two boundaries. Um, so hopefully we can just meet and come to some kind of agreement. That's my hope. Anyway. Yeah, they really, you know, they, yeah. Where does the land need to be accessed for? I'm sorry? What does the land need to be accessed for for town? Use? It's part, it's a, just the town park. property, the park or whatever. Yeah, so basically just mowing? Yeah, mowing. So far, but we, yeah, it's, we've only had it for a couple of years and we might have, we've got some plans for landscaping and. Yeah. You know, picnic area, for whatever, you know, yeah. it's, a, it's land, it's town property. We can't do any, can't build anything on it because yeah. it's, it's in the flood zone. It's just right. all but, landscaping. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Contract yeah. yeah, but so we still hopefully. should be able to use it. We should still be able to have access to it. Yeah. Since they had their survey done, they put cones there, so we shouldn't, you know. Yeah, so we'll just we, try to, either be. they could just give us access or... Yeah. Which I'm sure they'd be. Or we can be happy come to back, come to an agreement about 
where the property line is because our surveyor doesn't think that their surveyor necessarily made the right guess as yeah, far right. as where the line was. You split the difference. Right. That would be where that would work. that's where we started. Yeah, that's, we, uh, that's it was a boundary line agreement that was offered uh, to the fire department based on the original survey that the A&R paid for, but they didn't want to sign it, so. Yeah, yeah so maybe we can just split the difference. Mm -hmm. So we'll maybe try to meet with them, maybe at our next select board mm -hmm. meeting and... and um, yeah, I just wanted to flag that now and then right. probably make it, have a yeah. discussion about it. Our next it, meeting is not for three weeks, three so. Weeks. It's interesting, you know, the surveyors kind of, they look at the old deeds, so there were apparently, um, part of it is that there was an, a bridge over the brook, um, and this is from 1853, there was a bridge there, and so the, the deed marks from the corner of the bridge over, and of course the bridge is long gone, and who knows where the corner of the bridge was, so it's that kind of thing where, you know, a boundary line is marked by like an old ash tree that's been gone for a hundred years, and so where the heck is that? That's kind of what it sounds like mm -hmm. to me, is that there's nothing definite there for the surveyors to go by anymore. Um, but so, so, so why is the fire department arguing this situation? I don't know. I don't I'm know. not sure. I don't know. And I already offered, you know, a while ago, I said, you know, if, if you need to move the line a little bit for some more parking or something, that would probably be something we could work on. Uh, but not to just take the whole thing. Because um, the uh, grant agreement with FEMA uh, says certain things that you can do. I could, we could give it to a nonprofit organization. It's not really uh, good enough for that, or but we just can't build anything on it. Yeah, it has to remain a green so, space. Yeah. Well, I would think that would be a good idea, but I can't imagine why the fire department's fighting over. What is it? Twenty feet? It's no, not it's much. Not like eight, yeah. yeah. Eight feet? Well, it's yeah. Yeah. It's between the the the, the uh, proposal that our surveyor came up with just was between the power pole and the edge of the stream, the stream bank there, which yeah. is basically there's room for one car to drive in there anyways. So we could build a road in there and somehow... Um, We're actually giving them $80,000 a year to build a new fire station and they're fighting over eight feet of land. Tell me about it. Not wanting us to have right away into that? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Basically. I mean, I don't know the whole story. We haven't heard, or at least I haven't heard the fire department's side in this, but... Um, well, they made it clear that they had... They didn't want to sign the agreement that we had proposed a year ago because they were going to have their own survey. And mm -hmm. so they had their own survey, and their surveyor came up with what they wanted, I guess. Well, came so. up with something different anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so. Yeah, it, it seems silly to get in a fight over it. To well, me. in some ways, it seems silly to get in a fight. Under principle, I think it mm -hmm. might be good for a fight. Uh-huh. Well. I think this is ridiculous. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I asked him, you know, for months. I asked, you know, we had this uh, proposed boundary line agreement for months, and just he wouldn't deal with it. And finally, said that they were going to get their own survey, which mm -hmm. I guess maybe they needed to have a survey anyways to find all their property lines, but. I'm not exactly sure how they got a permit to put a building in there that big anyway. No. They did. They went to the Board of Adjustment. I don't remember. Yeah. I don't yeah. remember if they needed any variances. I think they might. Of course they did. They couldn't needed. get far enough away from the water. They can't get far enough away from the road. Well, I think they needed a variance for the road. Yeah. 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 75 feet from the center line. I don't think they could Which quite make they got. <laughs> The back of the building ain't going to be 75 feet away from the road. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, that was the Board of Adjustment. Yep. So we'll, do you want to try to, 
to meet with someone from the fire department at our next meeting I or? we can invite them. Okay, all right. We'd okay. like to get it straightened out. We, yeah, it would be we good thought to get we it wanted out. to get that white rock over there too. <laughs> you get that culvert in, we'll talk about it. Okay, <laughs> that's what I heard, that the, that the culvert has to go in so the forklift can go over the culvert and pick up the rock and well, you're going to talk to the quarry to see if you can get them down here to lift it up first. Well, yeah, we'll do that. But <laughs> I ain't taking responsibility for that loader and that rock because no. that culvert. No, okay, we'll wait till the culvert's finished, which will be next year, right? The culvert under Route 14? No, the oh, one going over here. there. Well, yeah, Route 14, I don't, we have nothing to do with that. No, right. So. Yeah. They yeah. had lots of heavy stuff going over there every day. I don't okay. imagine a forklift would be a problem there, but this one out here is a problem, right? Yeah, yeah. ain't no bottom that culvert. No, you cross that with that, and you'll be. It's pretty rotted out. The road will be closed. Mm. Yeah. So is that part of the whole stormwater? Or no. That's a totally different thing. It's totally different. So that's yeah. a two. Okay. Yeah. So that's the one that's waiting for a design. Yes. Yeah. We have a grant to, for the design work and the mm -hmm. permit work too. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Who do you usually use for design? Uh, Ruggles is is who we've been um, and VTrans. Um, we've also used um, Doug Newton. I think is his name. Yeah, he's no longer with us. He isn't. Mm -hmm. Oh. He passed. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Um, he was. He was really mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess that kind of narrows it down to who we. I know VTrans uh, really likes the work that Ruggles has done, and and of course they were um, spoke very highly of Doug also. Um, and we sometimes will put out send the RFP to um, <coughs> what's the other large? I always forget their name down based yeah, down there's... Barry Montpelier. There's the wolf uh, engineering. The wolf, right. The wolf engineering. There's yeah. Brenier. And usually when we, you know, any any bids that we get back from the wolf are like way out of the ballpark compared to what anybody else is. So we've never really mm -hmm. worked with them. But um, Chase and Chase has started to do. Chase and Chase. Okay. Started to do more of the structural stuff as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, so anything else for our road commissioners? Any other, anything else that you guys have to come up with us? Okay. I may have questions come up mm -hmm. uh, as I sort of take over. Sure, yeah. Um, is it okay to call you or? Uh, I, he, he knows more about what's been going on with the roads for years yeah. I'm just learning yeah. so yeah yeah <laughs> and then well, now that you're on the board are you no longer our road consultant or no I well <laughs> I you know Alf pretty much what I was doing for the road crew Alfie knows how to do so I will be probably backing off on that and unless I'm if if I can be of help um, um, yeah. yeah so I'll and I you'll still be doing lot. it we just won't pay you right <laughs> <laughs> Well, I won't even be a select board member then. So. Oh, no, <laughs> that's right. Oh, go on. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> um, okay, so there's the culvert out here. There's the stormwater project. There's... And that's separate from the road it's crew. Separate from the I mean, they do help out. But, oh. Yeah. Yeah. And there's I did... hill up here on Valley Lake. There's that. Yeah, yeah what's, up with, what's up with that? I'd like to... We're waiting for people to start... Doing something. Yeah, what we need to do with that is um, budget it for next year and then get someone to design, do the design work for the road. That's the next step, I think. Yeah. How can you, yeah. A civil I engineer. do a budget without a design, but. Well, we would basically budget for the design oh. and, then, and then we'll figure out how to pay for the road, mm -hmm. uh, the road work, whether the road crew could mm -hmm. do it or. Well, I don't. Nice big excavator. I would think road crew could do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything that needs to be done. Okay. I, mm -hmm. okay. There ain't a lot of design work there to do. It's no, there isn't. Pretty straightforward. You got to get yeah. in that ravine and yeah. tie into I mean, it. And if 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 our, if you guys feel that we could just figure out how to do it on our own, we could just 
not worry about the design work. Yeah, I mean, mm. typically if you're getting a grant, you would have to have a design. Yeah. But if you're taking so it, I don't, you're just going to do it out of your budget, then you can design yeah. it yourself and build it yourself. Yeah, I don't think we could get a grant for doing that. We could look into it. I mean, it is more, it's as much a safety issue as an erosion issue, I think. Yeah, there was something about the brook there, too. Yeah, I mean, that whole hillside is uh, hydrologically connected, right. obviously. So, um, and, but I, I don't know if a grants and aid would cover, I mean, we could look into that, and um, I guess if we're, you know, trying to solve an erosion issue, then, then that would validate um, doing that. Um, mm. And, you know, the work on East Hill is for this fiscal year, so, you know, we could try to get somebody from VTrans to look at that. I mean, we already did have somebody come, but that was with District 7, now we're in District 6. All right. So uh, we could get somebody to come and look at that and say, you know, um, would this be something that we could do under the grants and aid program? Um, and uh, if they say yes, then, then we're good. As far as that grants, <coughs> um, I don't know. I don't know of what, any other grants that would mm. help us out with that changing the course of the road. Um, I'd love to see what what the plan is in your head. What you're thinking that how that could be fixed sometime. Oh well, that's yeah. yeah I mean, we could do a site visit. We've we've looked at it before with a V trans person. Oh yeah. Well. Yeah. So. It's basically eliminating that bad corner. Mm -hmm. um, well, it's taking out a lot of the steepness of the hill, too. Right, yeah. Because that won't come back in and clear back up until just below with some morsel. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. We can do a site visit most any time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be interested in seeing, seeing yeah. more of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. driven by it and seeing stakes, but that's. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. The, the other thing we would need to do, Chuck, is probably have the land, we'd have to go through the process of um, creating a town road there, I mean, officially. That's all we're waiting on. That's yeah. why we had the survey. Right? Yeah, yeah. No, that's, so, yeah. That's did the survey get right? done? What's that? Yeah, did the, the survey, survey get done? done? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So we could, and, you know, we have willing property owners, so oh, yeah. it should yeah. be mm -hmm. just cut and dry, but we could initiate that process. Of, um, it's hard, you know, you, that, that's like a, it, tying up loose ends, it seems to me, like the design and the construction and the budget and everything seems a lot more important than having the landowner sign on something that they've already agreed to sign on. But Getting them to sign is not a problem. Yeah, that's right. what I mean. And the problem is getting started on... On the work. Making that ball roll down the hill. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, if the if you guys feel that you could come up with the plan for how to, you know, design the road, we could have VTrans look at it and see if it would qualify for the grants and aid, which so there would be some money to help help pay for the work, um, and we could actually have them look at it now I think if we were thinking of that for next year or we could wait till the spring but um, I it, would get the ball rolling if you could okay all right mm -hmm. so um, maybe yeah, I'll come over to get an estimate we could, you know, have, yeah. to, have to measure the distance from A to B and you know we could figure the material what right. it would take and right. their culverts and we could mm -hmm. get a, a rough estimate for the cost mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The biggest deal is that I believe there will have to be a sediment pond where the new road and the old road come together mm -hmm. to keep it, to keep the sediment out of that brush. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And, and that's so where the grants and aid, mm -hmm. you know, that type right. of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so if that's hydrologically connected, I, I'm guessing that there would be funds available. Yes, there would be, yeah. Mm -hmm. Even if we just did the road itself and then mm -hmm. they helped us pay for mm -hmm. the, the erosion control, mm -hmm. you know, that would yeah. be a big help. Yeah. Just, just look at that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. I'm, with, if you rented a big estimator in a week, things would look way, way different down to there. Okay. 
So do we want to try to have um, the District 6 people just take a look at that with us and um, and uh, I, ca I can check. I, yeah, I can't imagine that not being hydrologically connected um, with the brook right there beside it. Um, and whether they would consider the section of road that we want to, or the new road that we want to create, right. whether they would consider it uh, connected or not is... Um, all the water flowing from it's going to head right there. It's going to affect that bro. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and With a sediment bond, I think it would, mm -hmm. wouldn't be a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Have you scoped out where that might go? Oh, yeah. Right. Where the road is now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it would be pretty obvious mm -hmm. where it would go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just can't picture it. So uh -huh. if you do set up some kind of site visit, I'd like to go. Mm hmm. All right. Well, I can't do it first thing in the morning, but maybe tomorrow afternoon I'll get over there and we'll run over and take a look at it and see yeah. what you say. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Give right. me a call and I can be there too. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. It'll be sometime afternoon. Okay. Okay. And I'll take I'll a quick home. look at the A and R map just to make sure that that's uh, designated hydrologically connected road. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, just for that, and then if if we do want to get somebody from District Six to come and hear the plans and and you know get their opinion on whether or not the grants and aid program could be used for that, we could can, you know do that for our fiscal year 23 um, grants and aid grant. Yeah, um, I just don't want it to die. No, it's mm -hmm. not going to die. I think having once plowed that road going downhill and meeting a truck, um, <laughs> if, it, if it had been 30 seconds difference, I, you know, there was no way that I would have been able to have stopped to mm. avoid that truck. So um, mm. that's a bad, and there are people in town that, that consider that the scariest section of road in Woodbury. Um, well, it can be. It can be, yeah. Rip Brown lost the truck into that brook no. really? years ago. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Went mm. down it backwards. Yeah. Ooh. Well, coming up the hill, it, I mean, it's so, usually it's so rough on your lane, you know, the guy, person going uphill, that you want to swing out, but you have no line mm. of vision. Correct. Um, the, the hill's actually in good shape right now, but mm -hmm. it, it is. still yeah. needs to be changed. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll, we will not let it. Die. Oh, I'll see okay. you. Okay. Right. <laughs> that's good to know. <laughs> um, so that's pretty much it for the agenda, except for executive session. Um, so I make a motion that we go into executive session. All right, for um, citing. For the, uh, yeah. I'll read the okay. citing 1 VSA 313 A1B labor relation agreements with employees. And 1 VSA 313A, 1E, pending or probable civil litigation. So there are a couple of subjects that we'll be discussing in executive session. Mm -hmm. um, and if you two would stay for the first part at least. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Second? Uh, I'll second it. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So we're okay. close, closing the... Um, mm -hmm. The public part of the meeting and we'll be going into executive session.